Got you. Jeez, it stained my coat. Guess she'll scold me again. I'm home, sweetheart. Oh, Mr. Alistair, I'm so glad you're... <gasps> Mr. Alistair, not again! Do you know how long it takes me to remove the blood without harming the fabric? Please hand it to me. It's quite all right, dear. This is too old anyway. You can just throw it away if you want. All right, but please promise you'll be more careful. The crisis in this country is bad enough to be wasting money on new clothes when we could just take care of the ones we own. I've prepared your bath. Dinner will be ready in 15 minutes. We're having jambalaya. That sounds lovely, dear. Lavender. She's too much of a sweetheart. Mr. Alistair, I left clean clothes in your bedroom. Thanks, darling. Charlotte has been a blessing in my life since we first met. I'll never forget the day I found her. It was an incredibly cold winter. I couldn't help but venture myself to hunt a deer in that beautiful white landscape. This is pointless. It's been over seven hours. Well, time to go back home. Hmm? What the? You! Hand over that bitch! I can presume you're all responsible for her wounds. Isn't that right, gentlemen? What could this charming lady have possibly done to deserve this kind of treatment from you? Wait! Don't shoot! It's our right. Her old man gave her to us. And may I ask, who could possibly give away such a creature? He was the owner of Magni's cotton farm. We were his farm workers. That miserable shit tortured us for years. He murdered and raped our mothers, sisters, and wives all this time. He whipped, mutilated, and killed our colleagues. When his company went broke, to prevent us from getting our revenge on him, he gave us his daughter instead. So, I assume you want to use this girl to satisfy your need to inflict damage, similar to the pain he caused all of you? That seems fair. Calm down, dear. I'm not going to kill you. Thanks. Come here, darling. You need some heat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Alistair, dear. A real pleasure to meet you. May I ask, what is your name? Charlotte Mang. The Warrior. Such a nice name, darling. Quite fitting, if you ask me. This is pointless. It's been over seven hours. What the? They... they wanted to desecrate me! We were his farm workers. That miserable shit tortured us for years. When his company went broke, to prevent us from getting our revenge on him, he gave us his daughter instead. 
So, I assume you want to use this girl to satisfy your need to inflict damage, similar to the pain he caused all of you? That seems fair. It's done. Thank you. Incidentally, they didn't actually manage to defy- No! For the love of God, no! My chastity is still intact, sir! I managed to escape while they were removing their overalls! Blessed garments. So, what do you plan on doing now? I don't know. My aunt and uncle gave me away and fled to France. If I go back now, the former main plantation workers will probably recognize me and try to do the same to me as those men from before. I thought it was your parents who gave you away. My parents loved me! Those two were not my parents! My parents died eight years ago in a car accident. My uncle, Michael Meng, was my father's oldest brother. He and his wife were to take over the cotton farm until I was old enough to marry and inherit it, according to the lawyer's instructions regarding my father's will. But the crisis left us in ruin before that could happen. Before you could marry, or before you could inherit the farm? Both, but it doesn't matter anymore. I assume they never intended to give me my inheritance. And I'm certain that either an accident or a trip abroad with no sight of return would have befallen me before I married. In fact, I wish I was dead now. Well, your current situation is almost the same as that of a dead man. Huh? Naked, pale, frozen, penniless, and at the mercy of one who takes pity on your poor bones. <laughs> <laughs> I believe I have a deal you might like. You can stay here, if you'd like. You'd have to take care of the cleaning and food. Basically, the little details of what it means to run a household. I am a busy man, and I need someone to help me with what I can't manage to do. You want me to be your slave? Well, technically not. You would be more like my servant. I would make sure you're never left waiting for food and shelter, and I could give you a salary for your needs. And most importantly, I and my friend here would provide you with protection. Everyone wins! wouldn't hurt me, would you, sir? Oh, my dear. If I wanted to hurt you, I would have done so already. <coughs> Sweetheart, are you seriously considering rejecting my offer in your current condition? No, it's just, you're very generous, but I don't know anything about being a servant. You've always had them, haven't you? Well, technically, yes, but- Splendid! You know how a servant should behave towards their master? The rest you can learn as you go along. So, it's a deal then? Alright, I agree to your terms. Fantastic! Now it's time to rest so you can recharge your strength. You can sleep in the guest room from now on. We get up at 5.30 a.m. Think nothing of it, my dear. Thank you. Mr. Alistair! Hmm? Dinner must be ready. I'd better not keep her waiting. I'm coming, dear. 